Hey everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampaCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! Dem demonstrator. Thanks so much for joining me today. Uh, today we're doing our uh, third project using the It's a Science stamp set. Love this one, perfect if you have an engineer in your family, especially a chemical engineer, but it's, um, we're gonna do a really cute, colorful card today. Before we get started, just a reminder, Thursday is our card class at noon uh, on Facebook, and then we I will upload it to YouTube, but any purchases made that week, uh, starting Thursday to the following Thursday of $35 or more, you're going to receive a, uh, a kit of the card class projects, and if you spend 50, you get the kit and a pack of embellishments for free. So you'll need to make sure you use the August host code that's posted in the YouTube link. So um, let's get started. Uh, all right, we are gonna start with a base of pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is not just for fall. I love this color and I use it throughout the year. Then we've got a piece of white for the inside. We'll stamp that in a minute. And then I have a piece of white for the front. Now we're gonna do some stamping on here. I have a little piece of black I'm gonna put up at the top. I'm gonna to set that there so I can kind of gauge where I'm going to do my stamping. So let's grab our memento. And on the front I'm going to do this stamp, this verse that says, it's your birthday, you can overreact. Okay. Uh, hopefully gonna get this straight right here near the top. Mm, it's a little bit crooked, let's give it one more shot. That's the best thing about the paper is we can, it's got two sides. Let me get a little closer, maybe I can see better. That's better, okay, I was too far away. Now I have taken this big set of beakers and I stamped these two on the left and cut them out with Memento ink. That was just to save a little bit of time. Look, my fingers are inky already. And um, on the inside, I am going to stamp the sentiment. Let's celebrate since it's for birthday. Okay, and then I have some pumpkin pie. I am done with the black. Let's do pumpkin pie. And I have this fun stamp set of cells. So I'm just gonna do one kind of there on the inside to decorate. And then I'm going to take these cells and just do a little bit of stamping kind of around the edge. Um, the middle's gonna be covered. So I'm not worried about that so much. I just wanted to get a little bit of um, texture going around the outside. Okay, I'm gonna come back to that orange in a minute. All right, now what I want to do is I want to have my beakers pouring into, one beaker pouring into the other beaker. So we're gonna do our coloring first. And to color this one, we have to do our, our horizon. So when when you pour it, the water or the, the liquid still needs to be straight. Okay, so I'm gonna have it kind of being poured out. Whoops, that's okay, because we're pouring it out, so we're gonna color that whole thing red. We're actually gonna cover our little outside red too. Right there. I left a little bit of white on the outside. Okay, so this is going to be pouring into here. And we're going to start with, we're gonna do yellow, like Dark Daffodil Delight. The bottom, now what's red and yellow? What do you get when you combine red and yellow? Orange, correct. So we're going to do orange on the top half, like it's been mixing. We're gonna blend that too. And I want my, I want it to look like it's overflowing. All right, so let's get our yellow back in. 
Let's do a little bit of blending right between the orange and the yellow. Like that's our reaction going on. Might even do just a little bit of red at the top. And let's do a little blending here too. Okay, now I want this to look like it's pouring, the red's pouring into our jar. So let's have the red kind of coming down here. Pouring into our jar. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, now I want my orange overflowing onto the ground or onto the tabletop. The, I will do the ground. Okay, I'm gonna do, we have it here. It's gonna be kind of overflowing. I'm gonna get it a little overflowing. Well, it needs to come down and we need to color that lip. Okay, so it looks like it's coming down and we're gonna pool. So let's get the bottom a little bit of white. I'll move this over. Okay, now this is where it's going to run and pool all over our countertop. I'm just gonna do that. It's spilling out. Okay. Probably could be a little smoother, but I think that is good. We don't know where that water is gonna go. Okay, now I want to do a stamp a few bubbles, and then I think we can assemble. So I've got my bubbles. I'm gonna do these in orange. So I'm gonna have some bubbles coming out this way, and then we'll have some bubbles kind of coming down onto our mess that we've created. Yay! Okay, I think we're done. Let's pop up our, our beaker. So we've got a big dimensional on this one. Let's see. I think I need to bring my color over just a little bit. We'll hide whatever we don't need. Okay. Right there. Then let's get this speaker. We want to make sure it looks like it's pouring out. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, let's put our little bit of black up at the top. It almost looks like it's, you know, like a little notebook. You know, you have those lined pads that have the black binding up at the top. Okay, it's a little bit longer. So we can just trim that off there. I'm not even going to put ribbon. I thought I might put ribbon around it, but I don't think it needs it. Okay. Now, I've got a piece of yellow just to add a little more color. Um, this is two and a half inches. I'm gonna do a small flag. Let's see. If we do two and a quarter, I can see right where the center is. Right here. I'm going to put this on the back. I just want a little bit coming out of the bottom. Okay. And then we'll adhere this down. I'm going to put this 
right at the top. We're going to put it right up here. I've got a little bit of white showing. Hold on. I'm just going to trim that off. Instead of trying to pull that off and recenter it. Ah! Oh my gosh, so cute. Let's do a little wink of Stella on our bubbles. Because why not? They're really more kind of glossy, but you know, this dries fast and it's sparkly. Now you could always embellish it a little bit more if you wanted, but I just think that's so much fun. This could also be a good Halloween card. Do purple and um, green, although those two colors together I think make brown. So that doesn't sound good, but it could be black coming out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's card. Um, make sure to click subscribe if you haven't done so already so you don't miss out on future videos. And um, I'll see you back here on Thursday for card class at noon on Facebook. And then I'll post it um, shortly after on YouTube. All right. Thanks, everybody. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.